Good day, ma'am and sir. In this video, we researchers are going to propose a research paper entitled Correlation Between Financial Status and Academic Performance of Grade 12 ABM 1A to 4A Students at Finma University of Pangasinan. A lot of people foresee that financial status can be a hindrance for someone in achieving their goals in terms of education. As we can observe today, a lot of students are facing financial difficulties and this is the reason why they are having a hard time buying academic materials that can enhance their learning. In short, it limits their enhancement and development as a student to perform better in school. That's why we want to see how does financial status affect student academic performance and if there is significant correlation between financial status and academic performance of the students. We researchers mainly focuses to the correlation between financial status and academic performance. Our study is conducted inside Finma University of Pangasinan campus in the Gupan City along Arellano Street. It involves 133 students from ABM 1A to 4A who currently in enrolled this school year 2019 to 2020. Since our study starts from June 2019 up to October 2019, it means we are limited to time framework and the information should be gathered at a given time only. Our study does not include the different factors affecting students' academic performance, but just financial status itself to give more reliable information. We researchers are motivated to pursue this study to spread awareness on how financial status creates connections and plays a vital role to academic performance of how it limits the performance of the students. Another reason is we want to address the importance of financial support in shaping one's academic performance. Our study will be beneficial to students as it opens their minds to be responsible students despite of difficulties, as well as to their parents because it gives awareness how financial support can help their child in building a better performance in their studies. This is also helpful to school management because it serves as a notification for them to make ways in helping students and achieving their goals. And of course, to us researchers, as it gives us in-depth and brand new knowledge about this matter, also for other or future researchers, as it can help them widen their insight and be informative about this specific factor. We use questionnaire as our major instrument in obtaining answers in every question. Our questionnaire used in this study intends to acquire relevant and reliable information on how financial status creates relationship to students' academic performance. We researcher prepared the stated question in our questionnaire by reading references materials and our own insights about the correlation between financial status and academic performance. For our data gathering procedure, first we researcher make an approval letter and submit it to the principal office of senior high school department to get permission to conduct our research study in partial fulfillment for our practical research to subject. We also make a letter for our respondent to let them know that the questionnaire made and their answer will serve as premises for research purposes and to form conclusion. As soon as the approval given, we researcher immediately distribute the questionnaire personally to the identified respondents. Respondents were given time to answer and after they are finished answering, we researcher collect the questionnaire. The data gathered were 
tallied according to the result of item checked by the respondents. Since we have to comply according to total number of our respondents and need to work with a given time since it's limited, we have to contact our survey questionnaire twice to complete the questionnaire with complete answers. But, how will our study can contribute to the society and to the body of knowledge? First of all, our research addresses the relationship between financial status and academic performance. Thus, our research is the reliable way to understand these various issues which we society are facing. Through our research, we can contribute information that will spread awareness and in-depth understanding about this particular subject. Since our research generates detailed analysis, thus our research is fruitful and can enhance everyone's knowledge. We are motivated to pursue this study to build information and knowledge that is reliable and helpful for everyone and of course for our grades in practical research too. Our research mainly focuses on the correlation between financial status and academic performance. 133 students from grade 12 1A to 4A are required to answer the questionnaire which is held at FINMA University of Pangasinan. Since our research have a deadline, it means we are limited to time as well as the information we are going to include. It should be related and relevant. Our research questions are the foundation of our research. It provides focus and guide where our research starts from. With this question, we are able to unlock important information that will answer our questions. Journals and dissertations are the most important source for us because it enables us to obtain reliable information and keep us focused with what we started in the first place. Our study focused on correlation between two variables, that's why it is appropriate for us to use descriptive correlational research. In order for us to determine the presence and absence of the relationship between financial status and academic performance. Our total number of respondents are 133 coming from the grade 12 ABM 1A to 4A. In choosing the total number of respondents, we applied random sampling. Survey questionnaire is used as our measurement instrument. Based on our findings, majority of females are taking up ABM standard meal. In terms of age, most of the students are in appropriate age just like what K-12 stated. For the general average, most of them got a good grade and having enough allowance. We also found out that the academic performance of ABM students are not affected by their financial status, whether they have high or low financial status. In conclusion, there is no significant correlation between financial status and academic performance of ABM students at Pima Hilpang. Our entire research study is original as it produced new knowledge and information. Since we use descriptive correlational research, it enables us to provide in-depth view of how two variables are correlated. Through this, we can obtain accuracy, not manipulation. But since our research is correlational, we cannot say the detailed analysis in terms of cause and effect relationship. We recommend that school management should promote ABM strand to men because they are too few of them taking up this strength. They can promote ABM strength by implementing programs that can let them foresee what good about it and that can make them inter interested.
We also recommend that students should continue being an achiever despite of difficulties they are facing. And lastly, we recommend that everyone should not see financial status as a hindrance nor barrier in achieving their dreams in life. No matter what their status in life, they should not let it stop them from doing more and being more. Our study is important because it addresses one of the various issues about students in terms of education so it will unlock information for clarification. For us researchers, we would like to stick for our main objectives because it was something really informative and helpful for everyone. If we will go back from the start, we will improve our concentration and be enthusiastic in conducting this research as it helps a lot of people and ourselves as researchers.